Okay, good morning. Today is Monday, um, June 18th. Double check. Yeah, June 18th. It is a Monday. I am outside of the Dallas Makerspace. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on it. Mm, it's not a good view. But I'm outside of the Dallas Makerspace. Um, this is the second day of me getting up. I got up at 2.30 this morning, um, got in a good workout. <clears throat> um, I've been here for about 20 minutes, so I'm just sitting in the car just thinking about some things. Um, just thinking about success and how, how, how I would define it and, you know, why, you know, I often fall short of it. And just thinking about bringing more value to the, to the customer instead of, you know, selling a solution as, a fo as, as opposed to a problem. Um, because I've been thinking about a lot of times we sell our problems like we're like oh I gotta make money or I gotta meet these sales goals or I gotta move this inventory and we're selling a problem to our customers as, a fo as opposed to selling them a solution give them a solution you know don't worry about your what your need like think of first and foremost what the customer needs like someone comes to a car lot and says I need a minivan and you try to sell them a sports car it's like because you know sports cars you know it's going to help your numbers it's like no you give the customer what they need you solve the customer's problem first and foremost and so I'm trying to think about that uh, yesterday I went to Lowe's and I, I mentioned before I don't like to call a lot of companies but I went to Lowe's a, a while ago and they, they you know I tried to pitch them a bad idea and they didn't like it you know they didn't like it but I, I didn't you know the attitude they they they, their general manager at the time was kind of negative so I talked went, met another manager just yesterday it's been probably maybe almost two years since I've been to Lowe's the same Lowe's different manager same store but they were like no our policy says we can't accept new ideas I said well I'll go, I'll go to Home Depot I've been to three Home Depots all three of the managers accepted the idea thought it was a good one now the one that Lowe's thought it was a good idea but they said their company policy <clears throat> doesn't allow them to um, accept any outside ideas I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Just interesting, you know. You know, it's just I'm not gonna say any more about it. Just, it was interesting. And, but what I'm gonna do from now on is that whenever I pitch an idea, I'm like, instead of worrying about what they're gonna say, just always have a next plan. Next, like when I went to Lowe's, like I knew I was going to Home Depot. Like, so today I'm gonna go pitch some ideas. I'm like, you know, if they say no, I'm already gonna have in mind what I'm gonna do next. So it's never that um, punch in the stomach, you know, I got to regroup and regather. It's like, oh, like as soon as I get a rejection, I'm moving on to the next location. Because I've already told myself, if this person says no, I'm going down the street. Or I'm going across town. Like, I'm already, so before I pitch any ideas, like, I'm already know where I'm going next. If you say no, I already know where I'm going next. Now, if... If I get two no's and it's time that, okay, maybe I need to step back and think about, okay, let's evaluate these two no's and find out if this product is really what I think it is. But don't don't stop and and feel the first no. The first no is, is just almost a knee-jerk reaction. you got to be able to, if you get hit, you got to be able to counterpunch. So you know you're going to get that hit, so be ready to counterpunch. So that's what um, that's what, I, what I'm going to focus on today. So I'm going to go to... Um, Today is big SMU day. I've got the, um, and I'll show these um, in a few hours when I go up there. I've got the uh, basketball, um, SMU basketball design. I've got the, I'm going to do a, try to do a football one. So go to there, go see um, um, Dr. Kepler. Um, I want to put an idea for her to put stickers on maybe like a bottle of detergent. Welcome to SMU. Uh, this is a gift from, you know, the uh, parent family, father, family, dad and mom's club, and put a sticker on it. It's like, here's a bottle of detergent. I mean, who doesn't need a detergent in college? So you got to, if they brought some, you got two, but I mean, you know they're going to 